Wrestling fans, joining me at this time, Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, the OGK. Gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to have you at the podium. Kyle, I would love to tell you that we're gonna walk into that locker room, smack the compacts out of the Melvins that wear makeup back there, drag them out here in front of this NWA crowd, and show them that messing with the OGK is the biggest mistake they've ever made in their careers. But, Mike's right, that's not what we're here for. That's not why we came here. Since day one, my goal here was to make all the keyboard Melvin Warriors feel real stupid when I write my name in the history books once again because we want to be the first ever team to win Ring of Honor, New Japan, and NWA Tag Team titles. So La Rebellion, that's true. So La Melvins, we will get our revenge on you, but that's gotta be down the road. That's gotta be after we get our shots at the NWA Tag Team titles. Kyle. Kyle, do you, let me diffuse this situation a little bit by asking you a question. Do you know why we do this? Why we wrestle? I, I mean, I thought it was just because you guys love the competition and be in front of these fans, but maybe it's Whoa. something else. Oh, it's almost. This is bald head. It's almost like you know us. We do it for the competition. We do it because when we were little kids, there was something in our bones and in our soul and at the very meaning of who we are that said we are competitive at nature. Yeah. So La Rebellion, listen to me when I tell you this. I understand why you did what you did to me and Matt. I don't like it, I'm not happy about it, but I understand it, and truthfully, that's probably something me and Taven would have done a few years ago. But the truth is, the truth is, we are competitive, and we are competitive because we have a goal, and moments like that only serve as a distraction. A distraction to the main goal, the main focus, the main destiny, and that is to become the NWA World Tag Team Champions. Well, gentlemen, you are fine. Oh. La Rebellion coming to the podium. I guess you speak their name. They're going to appear, gentlemen. Hey. Escucha, Miguel y Mateo. Ustedes no están a nuestro nivel. Ustedes no tienen nada que hacer aquí porque NWA es nuestra casa. You guys have some nerve coming to the Wolves Den and calling out the baddest tag team in this company. You know why, Matthew? You know why, Mike? I'm going to tell you why. For 200 in 87 days, we held down the tag team division in the NWA. We represented in the United Kingdom, in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, all over America. All while you were sitting at home, growing your gut while you were taking care of your children, that's what we were doing, representing this company, representing this tag team division. So I think it's hilarious that you come out here and talk about tag team titles. If you want a shot at the titles, you're gonna have to go through us. You know, you're the reason why we're here. You guys are the reason why we're here. We came here to fight you guys for those NWA tag team titles, but um, oh my goodness, it's like you guys dropped the ball, didn't you? Huh? And you, you are really lucky that daddy's not here to save you because if- Oh my God! Things have gotten unclued at the podium! OGK, La Rebellion, they're throwing punches! No, not at not all. To get that, was, that was incredible. Yeah. Look, we got to keep things moving along. This is so unexpected. It's Joe Galley, Tim Storm, Velvet Sky. Yeah. Welcome to a very, very exciting episode of NWA Power. We got some incredible matches for all you folks right here coming from Nashville. I know that they're excited to see Scion.
versus Rodney Mack in a number one contendership match. The winner of that match will be the number one contender for our national title and will challenge Jax Dane for that very strap. And in our main event, the television championship is on the line. Odinson could make history if he could take down the Manster Tyrus. That is some fantastic wrestling because we're the NWA wrestling as it's meant to be. minute time limit and it's for the number one contendership for the national championship introducing first hailing from san antonio texas accompanied by aaron stevens this is the red dog rodney mack <laughs> rodney mack with an incredible opportunity to become number one contender for the national championship but velvet what is aaron stevens still doing here well, I think Rodney recruited him to be his mentor. Not that Rodney needs a mentor, so I don't know what was going through the head of Rodney Mack, but I just, it, it's kind of an odd alliance, wouldn't you think? Uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is almost unexplainable. Yeah. I, you know, Rod, Rodney Mack has a huge amount of experience. Obviously, Aaron Stevens does too, but this combination. Absolutely. And his opponent, accompanied by Austin Idol, this is the masked. Scion! And Scion is laser focused as well, but folks, it's Velvet, Tim, I mean, Aaron's supposed to be in Brazil already. With me! Yeah, I don't know. And given the choice, he's here with Rodney Mack. I don't get this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's great. He's really helping a friend out. Clearly, it's And being traveling. a mentor and being a manager, but... Clearly, it's got to be travel arrangement issues or, or something. I don't know. Maybe sort, right? couldn't well, catch a flight. I'm not sure. And on the other side, but he looks happy to be here, though. No, no, and, and and we've seen that interaction with these guys, but it's 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 a strange interaction. It is. And across the ring, you've got father and son. I just yeah. don't know how how would one right. find out about this alignment between Rodney Mack and, and Aaron Stevens. Where who will explain it? Well, we got to be focused on the action that's actually happening oh, in yeah. the ring here. The winner of this match is going to be the number one contender for the national championship. So you know Jack Dane has got to be watching somewhere in the back. Oh, yeah. He's real interested to see who's going to be victorious in this match. Well, and both, of, both of these guys it, it's, are going to be, a, I don't want to say a threat, but they're going to be a legitimate challenge. Yeah, I mean, both yeah. these guys can go. And Sion, like I was saying, he, you know, he has turned up the volume lately with his inten just intensity in the ring. And I know, Tim, you had said before that you think that has everything to do with Austin Idol being his coach and his father and the strategies Idol might be feeding to Sion. Full amount, ground and pound from Rodney Mack as he is really taking control of this match. Uh, Austin Idol's getting frustrated. He almost looked like he, he was going to get in the ring. Well, I think the thing that we've heard about Cyan over and over, and over is that he had those moments where he lost focus. Yeah. Other than that, he was always an amazing competitor. Oh, no doubt. Not to take it. No, no, no. I'm with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Rodney Mack. Oh, speaking of intensity, you are not going to find a more intense competitor than Rodney Mack. Oh, no doubt about that. Which still brings me back to why is Aaron Stevens out here? First slam by Rodney Mack. Yeah, why is there a seat? The million dollar question. Lateral press, two count, kick out by Scion. You see Austin Idol at the bottom of your screen, walking back and forth. I mean, he's, I can see the, his face. There is a look of concern at this point. As Rodney Mack runs into that. Oh my gosh. Full body weight on that shoulder. It was. Again, it's, it's Aaron's, 
if he's he his friend, his mentor, I mean, he's got his managerial license, it's just not making sense to me. I have to figure this out. Why would he even get the license if he was going to go to Brazil? I, I, that is, I have no idea. That Here's is, I am so morbidly curious about the answer to that question. I know we're supposed to be focused on the action in the ring, but I can't help but wonder what the intention is with Aaron aligning well, but here's, with Here's Rodney. what I can tell you with, without Aaron Stevens, is that I tell you this, it, he makes friends easily, but there's also a really quick, unexplainable disconnect with, with right. those friends. I mean, it, it, your friends, your friends, your friends, and then you're not, and there's no explanation why. He's all yours. now. Yeah. Trapping yeah. the Say arm. Name. Oh, oh. Now, just a punch to the side of the face. Come on, watch that. I actually think that science actually gotten more brutal yeah, ever since he's been reunited with Austin Idol. Guys, I, I, I'm sorry to keep you on this. I know it's not my role to be interviewing talent at ringside, but I'm almost tempted to call over Aaron Stevens and ask him oh, what, look at this. what look his intentions are. Sion using that top that rope. Well, don't, do, don't you find it odd that if, if Aaron Stevens is out here to mentor Rodney Mack right now, he's not mentoring. That's my point. It's big DDT. Right now, he's almost removed to him. This could be attention. It. New number one contender, one count. His focus, and I don't want to take the focus away from these two guys that are, that are killing each other in the ring. But, no, but this is also a but we don't match, have though. Aaron Stevens' attention either. Now we do. Now, we're now we do. Getting involved for the first time. Again, targeting that shoulder. Not only Austin Idol. I mean, he's made it very it. clear. It is Sion's time to become the national champion, just like Austin Idol was yep. as the inaugural champion. Well, and, and I don't, I don't give Austin Idol enough credit sometimes, but I will give him credit that while while Aaron Stevens seems to be removed. Austin Idol is focused in on Zion. Oh, oh, him on the life out of right. the red dog. Stay off his throat. Aaron Stevens now showing some concern on the outside. Zion laying it in with those kicks on Rodney Mack. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing on the outside of the ring, we're seeing two different stories being told. Yeah. We're seeing Austin Idol watching his son saying, get him, get him, get him. Aaron Stevens, not in there at all. And this dog is coming off the chain in a bad way. Shoot, reversal. Gets the knee up. Set flip by Rodney oh, Mack. Oh, stacking him up. Shoulders are down. He's oh, got it. His knee pad. He got he was it. pulling his oh, knee pad. winner of this match. Sion! Sion is the oh. new number one contender, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. To gain added leverage, he was pulling at Rodney Mack's knee pad, oh. so Rodney couldn't pull. Essentially, he was pulling the tights. Oh, yeah, yeah there's, but you know, and look, at you, you can see the interaction right now. Look, he's the new number one contender either way. Jack Stain, Sion is coming for you. We'll be right back. Joining me at this time is NWA World Women Champion Camille and also her husband, Tom Latimer. Guys, NWA 74 is coming up. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Well, my thoughts for NWA 74, I mean, it's a two-night event. So that's exciting for the fans. It's exciting for me. But also, I know that I'm going to have to work two nights. Why, you may ask? Because the first night, I have to defend my title. And then Billy Corgan... Love's making me do a whole bunch of work. So when I retain the first night, I'm going to have to face the winner of the Burke Invitational the second night. So you know what? Just more matches under my belt, more wins for me. No biggie. How do you feel, Tom? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm, whatever gets tossed at me, May, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to kick it out of the field. Uh, last time we were there, I jumped off a 20-foot ladder. So, hey, you know, I'll do whatever I need to do to be able to pull out that victory, okay? You got it, babe. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. Experience the National Wrestling Alliance live. Join us for three action-packed days of NWA Power and NWA USA tapings, Monday, August 29th, Tuesday, August 30th, and Wednesday, August 31st, as the NWA returns to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Scheduled to appear, NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch, Nick Aldis, NWA World Women's Champion Camille, NWA TV Champion Tyrus, Matt Cardona, Tom Latimer, and many more. 
Tickets on sale now at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. The National Wrestling Alliance and Fight brings you the ultimate streaming service for everything NWA. This is NWA All Access. For just $49.99 a year, you'll get every single NWA pay-per-view, NWA Power days before the rest of the world, NWA USA, and special fight-exclusive content. All the pay-per-views, all the action, all the power. For only $49.99 a year, that's a savings of over $100 versus just ordering everything alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. Join the thousands of fans that have already subscribed to the toughest brand in professional wrestling. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. Please welcome NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch. Trevor, you're going to be facing Pope on next week's episode of NWA Power, and rumors are that you asked for this match. I did ask for this match. Why is that? That's between me and the Pope. Okay. Can you tell me more? I'll tell you more. What's important, what we need to be focusing on, is that NWA 74 in St. Louis, Missouri, at the Chase Park Plaza, I will be there as the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. That's what's important. Okay, but if you're so focused on NWA 74, why are you facing Pope? Again, May, that's between me and the Pope. Okay, I respect that. Thank you so much, Trevor, for your time. The following match is a team war match. Introducing first, accompanied by Danny Deals, this is the team of Rush Freeman. Alex Taylor and Jeremiah Plunkett. They are the ill begotten. Team War, such a fantastic concept. A very different way to see teams coming together. You're not going to see any tags on this one, folks. We're going to go over the rules in just a little bit. And their opponents, accompanied by the sinister minister, James Mitchell. This is Gags the Gimp, Sal the Pal. Judas, they are the miserably faithful. Why is it that Father James Mitchell, his his staple of, of, of gentlemen, they have seems like they have problems walking. Gentleman seems to be a stretch. Yeah, I think I, that's I, a I loose, just loosely to be used nice, term. Joe, but All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time you're seeing a Team Wars match. One member from both teams will start this match. The other members have to wait on the floor. Eliminations happen via pinfall, submission, or going over the top rope. Once an elimination happens, another member of the team must enter the ring immediately. Otherwise, they can be counted out. The team with at least one person standing at the end of this is going to be the victor. Well, Let's and what we've seen historically in this, fast, violent, yeah. super fast. Oh, talk about and there's fast. how we start it right there. Sauronal going right towards Rush Freeman. Also, there's a lot of strategy in this matchup, trying to decide who would be the be best person to start. Who do you want to hold on into reserve? And look at Sal! Sal is a pal! Unleashing on Rush What a knee! What a knee! Stomping at the face! Sal is, he's sinister, he's vicious! I think maybe that maybe this is part of the strategy. You know, we see it right there. When, when Sal... Oh, small package. Two when Sal Renaro comes out, he ve he's very much... Oh, He's very much a whirlwind of activity and then seems to lose focus. Maybe if you start him early in the match, maybe you can retain that, that intensity with him. Good point. Thank you, I noticed on, on the outside. There it is, Danny Deals. Oh, big flatliner. Rush Freeman has been eliminated. Wow, that's big. That is big. And you see Rush Freeman. He's being removed. Uh, attempting to be removed. His big brother Trying to can't. figure out who's going to be going in up against Sal. We didn't win yet. We didn't Jeremiah Puckett. Yeah, Jeremiah. He'll be gotten. Hey, Boomer. These two very familiar with each other, but I mean, that's he's familiar with a whole different Sal. I don't think Jeremiah. This Sal that we're seeing is. He doesn't know what to, what to do right now. A very, very cautious approach. They just hit him. He's trying to egg Sal on to get up and wrestle, but oh, there you go. Crucifix pin. Two count. Come on. 
You also may notice Father James Mitchell is actually accompanying his team to the ring. For a long time, Sal LaPal and Gags, again, they're really in the doghouse, but they've made up for it in the matches they've been having. Sal's biting him! He's biting Jeremiah Puckett! Um, I'm not surprised in the least. It's like fighting a rabid animal. Spinning around Plunkett. Goes into the corner. Sal catches, catches his boot. Big back fist. That rocked Plunkett. They're both rocking. Sal's a rocking too. Springboard. Stunner. Oh. oh, shoulders are down. This could be a two count on Plunkett. Look at the crazy look. In what does he have on his chest, Joe? I don't know. Is that blood? Is it, is it blood? I mean, we saw when he was being initiated. Oh, don't remind us. I mean, he drank blood to be part of the miserably faithful. Everything about Sal Renaro is unorthodox. Oh, look at that. The way he's dressed, his techniques, his attacks, his defense, everything about him. him, yes. Father James Mitchell giving the orders, telling Sal the pal what to do. Did he get lost? What? Second row's loose. Get attacked. Danny Deal's trying to get to the Danny pass. Deal says, go ahead, go up top. Oh, but he got caught. Took too long. Heavy right hand. On the top of his head. Spiked him. Will it be enough for an elimination? Yes, it will. Sal the Pal has been eliminated. First elimination for the miserably faithful. Who's going in? Is it Gags or Judas? Who do they want to put? Strategy, strategy, Father strategy. Father James Mitchell is telling Gags well, to get, I, I think get that's in smart. there. Take the big man, Completely let him rest agree. on the outside. Hey, if he needs hey, to come in, hey, he's got a better chance of handling two men than Gags the Gimp. In, in this case, this is your, uh, Judias is your cleanup hitter. If you need him, he comes to the play, he'll knock it out of the park. Speaking of knocking it out of the park, I mean, those are live rounds from Jeremiah Plunkett. Oh, but the good news is you can't knock his teeth out. Well, yeah, they, they, would stay, they would stay behind that zipper for sure. writhing in pain now. Plunkett, he's pulling, he's pulling at the mask. Oh. And that just punching him right in the mouth. Do you right think he did zipper. that so he can't use the tongue? Maybe, maybe he's trying to neutralize that. You know, every time we see Gags get that tongue out, he gets a surge of energy. Yeah. Some sort of weird arousal with it. It just leads to some sort of bizarre strike. Oh my gosh, speaking of weird, huh? Clawing at the chest. Gags just coming alive. Grabbing those horns. Oh, but he runs into a knee. Big knee from Jeremiah Plunkett. Even on the attack, it's not chop, chop, chop. It's claw, claw, claw. Right. Like, this entire team is just weird. Yeah. Everything about well, You know, also speaking of weird, you got Danny Deals who's been in a neck brace for I don't know how long after he got slapped by Medusa. He seems to have a lot of range of motion for a guy in a neck brace. Yeah, I'm just saying. I agree. Not for nothing. Clawing at the face, the referee Jared Fritz, right there, admonishing Jeremiah Plunkett. But look at, look at Gags, going right to the nose. Digging his nails into the face, into the eyes of Plunkett. But Plunkett answering back with a big punch. Momentum keeps shifting between these two in this team war match. Oh, the knees. Ran into the knees. The boot up now. Gags, Gags is feeling it. He was looking for the finish. He was looking for the finish. Yes. Huge bear oh, hand. That yeah. might do it. That might do it. Oh, that pressure. Plunk has been working. The He's lower back of Gags again. Plunk has been working on that upper body. He's got a lot more power in there than we've seen in the past. But Gags is coming in. He's enjoying the pain. He loves the pain. He loves it. He loves it. He comes a little bit. He does. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. And we said it at the beginning of this fast, furious, violent match. That's what this brings every single time. You've got two of the strangest, most unorthodox teams that we've that, that are available in the NWA going at it, and everything at each other. Alex Taylor must go it alone if he's going to get a victory for the ill begun. Into the cover, shoulders are down. One count. Come on, Fritz. There we go, kids. Let's go. Three. 
Up onto the shoulders. What the? Alex Taylor looking for something, but what? Oh, he's, he's over the top rope. Feet are still on the apron. He's still in this matchup. Can't turn it back too oh, long, no, guys. Don't do he's got that. the tongue. He's got the tongue. There the tongue is, is out. The there tongue is, is out. But Taylor oh. has been eliminated. The feet have touched the floor. Over the top gags, rope. Gags, yep. gags, gags the gimp has been eliminated. Alex Taylor feeling strong, feeling confident. I don't know if he's going to feel that same man. way. How long will that confidence last? The priest of punishment, Judas, a mountain of a man. Alex Taylor has to use his quickness. Oh, here. He's not, try and... not quick enough there. What can he try to do? It's really the only way. He's got to stick and move. He's got to be fast. But if he gets caught here, like he is now, oh, fighting out though. Alex Taylor is not a small man, ladies and gentlemen. Just how so is the size of this giant. Slam this giant Judas with the choke slam. The powerhouse of the miserably faithful. Rise to your feet. Rise to your wow. feet. Commanding him. Forcing him. Oh, wow. Just muscling him up. Muscling him up. No, 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 no. This is not good. Crucifix bomb. Bring it and it's over. Alex Taylor has been eliminated. The winners of this match, the Miserably Faithful. That is sending a statement that the Miserably Faithful is here to make a statement in the NWA. Big victory, big victory for them. We got to take a break. We will be right back. <laughs> For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. I own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Valentine and this is my heart to heart. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Kobe Carino. Kobe, as we all know, you are the son of an NWA legend, Steve Carino. And I'd love to know what was your childhood like? Was your dad nice? My childhood was great. He took me all around the world. I went to every wrestling show that mattered. I, uh, what does him being nice have to do with it? Okay. Let's ask a different question. What do you feel about Tyrus? I, th I think he's all right, I guess. Uh, no. Like, how do you really feel about Tyrus? Like, like inside. How do you feel inside about Tyrus? Your dad was a really good promo guy. I expected a little bit more out of you. Come on. Yeah, okay. like your true, true opinions about Tyrus. Why is this guy out here? Isn't this your show? Why, why is he out here trying to... Hey. You know, I should walk out of this interview, but I'm a professional, so I, I will I'll stick it out till the end. Okay, have you read Tyrus's book? <gasps> no, I don't read. He doesn't read. Surprise. Honey, do you? Whoa, 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 whoa! It's not that I can't read. It's that I I don't have enough time to read between all my training, my wrestling training, my weightlifting, my 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 massages, my sauna time. You gotta get. <laughs> This is good. This is good. This is good. No. So, okay. Now, if you hypothetically, let's say, okay, you are on a, a foreign planet, right? You and Tyrus, there's one meal. He's standing across from you. What do you do? What foreign planet? Like Japan? If you, I, I can see you like oversized jewelry. What do you really feel about his chains? The, the chains, all the, the, the access, if you will. 
I, I bet I bet they're pretty expensive. I could probably snatch. Well, what does this have to do with anything? Like, why why are we talking about Tyrus? I'm not, I'm not even going for Tyrus. I don't. I'm going for the NWA Junior Heavyweight Title. I don't want that television title right now. Why are we talking about Tyrus? Can, can I can I ask a question? Uh, okay. If Tyrus was a fictional animal, what one do you think he would be? I mean, if he was a fictional animal, I bet he'd be more like a... What? No, I'm not answering this question. What? what are we doing here? If you were a fictional animal, you should be a butterfly because they are quiet. Thank a butterfly you. isn't fictional. A butterfly isn't fictional. It's a real animal. That's nonfiction. Well, if you had to travel with Tyrus anywhere in the world, <laughs> where would you go? As far away from Aaron Stevens as possible. Okay, this was a great interview, Kobe. Thank you so much for your time, right, honey? Absolutely, babe. Yeah, thanks, Kobe. <laughs> Wrestling at the Chase is back August 27th and 28th as the NWA returns to the historic Chase Park Plaza Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri for NWA 74. Two nights of incredible action featuring title defenses from all the NWA champions. Plus, NWA wrestling legends will be in the Coruscant Ballroom for NWA's 74th anniversary extravaganza. Scheduled to appear, Baby Down, J.J. Dillon, Barry Windham, and on Monday, August 29th at Skyway Studios, a very special appearance by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Tickets are moving fast, so get yours now at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. Scott, Paula, Blaze, Roxy, oh, with a chair stinger. Oh, oh she's oh. got her up. Oh, protect your neck. Protect your neck. She wasn't able to do that. There she was. Big, big win by Marty Bell. And you can hear it from the crowd here inside the NW Arena. They love Marty Bell. Please welcome NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide, joined by Caprice Coleman. Homicide, why did you decide to face Luke Hawks' son, PJ Hawks, for the title? Well, I'm a fighting champion. He's a future legend. I mean, he deserves it. It's about the future. There will be no homicide, but no future. But come on, but I'm hearing about Mr. Hawks, the poppy, the pop. He's angry of my... Luke, you don't want to go there, bro. Let's take care of your son. He's the future legend. Luke Hawks, I'm telling you right now, whatever it is, that Gatorade, the, the stupid medicine of a GNC, stop it. Because I will hurt you. I will break your bone. It's about PJ Hawks right now. He is the future legend. I'm happy about PJ. He's a survivor. Okay. And Caprice, I believe you're here to make a really big announcement. That's right. I heard I'm going to be on this go home show, the 74th anniversary. What an honor to be called to do something like that. The man with the style, the grace, the shape and the face will be in the place. And I want you to be there, too, because with me there, it's just that much higher. Why? Because I have the rookie body, the veteran mind, the silver tongue. I'm the ageless one and I'm going to be there. And this show's going to be great because of that. And homicide, when you finish with the kids, give the man a chance. Oh. Thank you so much, gentlemen. The following match is one fall with a 6.05 time limit. It is for the NWA World Television Championship. Introducing first, from the halls of Asgard, this is Odinson. Odinson with an incredible opportunity here to win singles gold in the NWA. This guy, he's really been on fire as of late, but he is Really facing a, a, a huge contest, a huge contest yeah. against the Manster. It doesn't get any bigger in the NWA, NWA than, than, than Tyrus. You're right, he is a, he is a what, half man, half monster. Nashville, are you ready? And accompanied by Black G's, he is the NWA the World the Television Champion. The this Long is the Great American World Smash Tyrus. Tyrus has really been able to use that 6.05 minute time limit to his advantage. Odinson, I mean, he has to come out firing on all cylinders. Yeah. You cannot wait. 
Six minutes goes by in a blink of an eye inside that ring, right, Tim? And, and this, uh, Otis is one of the purest athletes we've got at the NWA. Big, powerful, strong, fast. But sometimes I wonder if Tyrus is even human. I mean, he, oh, yeah. that, is a, that is a legitimate monster in life. And for a Got bigger guy like Odinson, though, a bigger guy like Odinson, some of the moves he pulls off are very impressive for a man his yeah. size, which he could use to his advantage facing Tyrus tonight. Well, we tell you, you said that, and it's absolutely true. He, Odinson is a, is a huge man, but look at him compared to Tyrus. There goes the bell, and the clock starts. Odinson is going to be feeling that power of Asgard. He's going to need all of it. Oh, yeah. I, I think I don't. He should have brought his cousin Thor's hammer to this fight, maybe. I, but I question, I question the fact that look, he's starting off at a slow pace. And with 6.05, I don't know that you've got the luxury of doing that. Odinson taking it to Tyrus. Trying to break the big man down early. Big uppercuts on the master. There you see Black G's at the bottom of your screen. Oh, man. See, I mean, that's the, just the size. The strikes to Tyrus didn't seem to fix him at all. Odinson is a big, heavy athlete, yeah. and Tyrus is just throwing him around. Oh, big splash in the corner. All that weight coming at you like a freight train. Yeah, great American smash. And look, he doesn't have to be in a hurry. No, no. He has an incredible advantage. This, this is where... Oh. Yeah, this is where the time favors Tyrus. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And look at the, oh, look at this, the disrespect. God. Strength, though, of Tyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's not just disrespect. That and is then the cover shoulders down. Yeah. Kick out. Massive. It's a projection of strength. Yeah. Going into that trap, oh, that muscle sad. into the shoulder. The nerve oh, pin. Yeah, was gonna say, that really That's strikes the nerve. And anything, anything, Tyrus takes, takes body parts away from you, sometimes permanently. Yeah. He can, all the, all the things that Odinson does, strength, power, he needs that arm and that shoulder to do it, and, and Tyrus knows he's taking that away right now. All that weight, all that pressure, you could see the, oh. the tree trunk like arms of Tyrus. Oh, feel the pain from here. Oh. And in the in the back of in, in the back of Odinson's mind right now, that clock has got to be ticking. He's gotta hear it. He knows he's gotta know he's, he doesn't have much time. Elbows to the gut. But still Tyrus. Tyrus oh, there we go. Finally found a way to release the grip. And now he's oh, playing he's he's right in the face. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Gotta do what you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. He got him down. He got him down with that flying European uppercut. Sizing he's, him up. Yeah, he's lining it up. We've seen this before. Full head of steam. But the champ's still on his feet. This is a little bit dazed right now. Odinson from the middle rope, jumping through. Oh, he got him again. Maneuver by Odinson. Still doesn't take him off his feet. Wow. He's going up top now. And he's got to be it. This could be his best opportunity. Don't waste time. Yeah, he's, he's got, got to, to hit this. Oh, there's Black G's. Black G's running in a very good. It's kicked to the floor. Fly, Odinson. Oh, he's still got it. He's off his feet. He hits it. Get the cover. Get the cover. We can have a new champ. He's had, but that yeah, he's had in trouble that with his shoulder. His arm over Tyrus. I think we got oh, severe oh, nerve damage. There's severe did, nerve oh, yeah. damage in that arm now. As hard as he was trying, he he hooked the leg. He just didn't have the power to pull it in. He's trying to get some life back into that bicep and that tricep. Yeah, trying to get that blood flowing. Trying to get some feeling back in there. He's got a look of confidence in his eyes. This could be his moment here. Flying. Oh, he he yeah. Wow, Tyrus is in trouble. You don't really see him him in this position often. Oh, oh, the away. I stand corrected. Oh, he's sizing him up. He's sizing him up for that oh, heart punch. He hits this. Oh no, no, no. Oh, he hits it. The heart punch, the heart punch. Two, three. Wow. The winner of this match and still NWA World Television. with an impressive victory holding on to that World Television Championship. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you this Saturday for NWA USA.
going to have to get to the floor. Both competitors so tough. I'm very excited to see what these women bring to the table tonight in this match. This is going to be intense. Taya Valkyrie, I mean, she still holds the record for the longest singular reign for the TNA Impact Knockouts Championship wow. as well. I mean, this woman, she knows what it means to be a champion. She knows what it means to succeed in the sport of professional wrestling. Everywhere she goes, she succeeds. Oh, yeah. Taya, everywhere. Well, and Natalia has, has left a path of destruction in the NWA. I mean, it, that, I can't, I'm excited about where this match is going to go to strong, physical competitors. And we're just going to see who can, uh, who's going to overpower the other. And speaking of Taya, again, it was Billy Corgan himself who recruited Taya Valkyrie to come to the NWA tonight. Wow, this woman just hits so incredibly hard. Send him a cover into the ropes. Oh, what a shot to the face. Which that says a lot. If Billy Corgan himself is recruiting you to come here, that just says a lot about what he thinks about a talent. And again, oh, she hits it twice. Right in front of Taryn Terrell. Don't let Natalia Markova out of your sights, though, because when she takes over, it is brutal, the beating that she leaves. Markova able to sidestep, runs oh. into a big boot from Valkyrie. Get separation here in a storm. Oh. Just used all of her Ooh. body weight, crush it hard, hard, on the crush. Two count, that was a hard landing. That was rough. But look at the smile on the face of Taya Valkyrie. Yeah, we're not, we're not used to seeing a competitor like this go out and, and be physical and push Natalia oh. Markova around. This is, this oh, is something it, new for her. That's just adding fuel to the yeah. fire to, of Markova because <laughs> when it does, if it does get turned around, when it does get turned around, Taya's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, and look at Taryn Terrell paying dividends. And it at might the just boots. have turned around right Ooh. here on behalf of Taryn Terrell. This might be the opening that Markova needs. Absolutely. Puts her into the corner. Knee to the midsection. And she followed that up with a boot to the face. I mean, that, that's the way you take advantage of something like that. Puts her in the corner, could be lining her up. If she can nail that uh -oh. beautiful destruction, the big swinging leg kick in the corner. But look at this, she's stalking her. That's kind of sexy, if you ask me. Stalking her like a wild animal. And look at the flexibility and the strength on the part of Markova. And again. I, well, this kind of goes back to what to what you said, Bell, that you said when she turns it around. Oh, yeah. I think now she's looking it's, for a little bit of punishment, yeah, it's, too. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> oh, and now look at this. using the middle rope and all of her weight crashing down, choking the life out of Ty of Valkyrie. Not done yet, though. Right in the back side. Right in the booty. Woo. Terrence telling her Terrence to do it again. Her another spank? Oh. I don't know if spanking is the best offense to use against Ty Valkyrie. Who's Depends who he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Ty uh, uh, yeah. returning the favor. I believe that's called a receipt, too. That's it, that's, yeah, that, that was. Uh, never mind. If I want to say that was a stiff receipt, I don't think that. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? We, it's pay per view. We can Moving say that. Along what? We got it's pay per view. We no. can say whatever we want. <laughs> Taya Valkyrie through the clothesline. Marco oh! answers with that chop. Stiff chop. Oh, yeah. This is, this, is, this is the Markova that I was talking about. Well, and Taryn Terrell just said I taught her that. So I don't take your credit. Of course she did. Yeah. Sends her to the cover. Could be looking to finish things up. Oh, oh she was. Nobody she went home. for the beautiful distraction. Destruction, I mean. Oh, a Jazz Stinger. Jazz Stinger. She got her. Is that it? the ring. This could be it. Nope. Trying to upset the debut of Taya Valkyrie here in the National Wrestling Alliance. The physicality of this is starting to take a toll. And right now, you see Markova wrenching that in, leaning on her, trying to take some of that, some of that away from her. I mean, right now she's trying, she's trying to take that breath out of her lungs. Welcome to the NWA Women's Division, Taya Valkyrie, and welcome to the physicality tonight on behalf of Natalia Markova. In front of the sold-out crowd here at the Knoxville Convention Center. The strength that that took, especially after what she's been, been oh, yeah. given. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Just relentless chops. Oh, they are swinging oh. for the fences. Now, forearm. Oh, combination. Taya with the strikes now. Oh, takes her down with a clothesline to 
close it off. Folded her in half. Oh, wow. Oh, oh so did she get it? No, oh, I thought that was it. So close. Just from the angle we were looking, I yeah, guess Markova. I thought that was it. She, must, she might be stunned a little bit from barely, those strikes. Barely got that shoulder up. Uh-oh. Trying to stay on her feet. Markova sent into the corner. Taya follows it up with a forearm. She's looking for something big here. Putting her on oh. the middle rope. Oh, kick to the back. Coming in with a full head of steam. Will she hit it? Oh it my is. God! She calls it pandemonium. Very impressive move by Taya Valkyrie now, taking it all in. Uh oh, and Taryn and Taya not smart, Taryn. Oh, Taryn, but oh, not perhaps smart. giving Markova not. enough time to re recover. Taryn, Baseball slide. Taryn may be recruiting out there. And right? You know what? That was really smart on this. I'm sorry, I take that back. She actually was giving Markova time to and, recover. And now she's up on the apron. Because it's all about Taryn. It's the Taryn show. It's the Taryn show. Are you always ready for Taryn? Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. Takes out Taya Valkyrie. Taryn was providing the distraction. And, and again, she's up on the apron. She and hasn't won the saying match. She's won? The Taryn show. She hasn't won the match, Taryn. What are you doing? You Taryn's can't, saying this is about me. I just me. saw Markova say this is my moment. There's a little bit of dissension there now between Markova and, and Taryn. Oh, oh and she oh, paid the oh price for that distraction. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my did you hear the thud to, under the floor? That was her head to add insult oh to injury. God. That was her head, that thud. Oh, my thud. goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> What an wow. intense matchup between brutal. both women. What an this I is what felt that in the floor, yeah, Tim, from brutal. here. We're on the other side of the ring. This is what the NWA women's division is all about. Hard hitting, intensity, toughness. You got to have all three three of those things to survive here in the women's Into the division. Cover. And beauty. Oh, wow. I mean, I, you know, these are beautiful oh, women absolutely. who are in there just beating the crap out yes, of each other. Are. And I don't know at this point who's, who's going to come out on this one. Trying to tie her up. Markova somehow able to find a way to fight back. Oh, gets oh. tripped up. And Taya looking once again for that submission. Taya she looking gets it to locked tie her in. Up. Look at that foot. Oh, Look wow. at that foot That's bent. In deep. Uh oh. Locking it in now. Oh, Markova's oh, wow. in trouble. Oh, oh stomp to the back of the head. That's got to be it. Matt. Oh, and somehow Markova has found a way to stay in this match after she's that. She's tough, Joe. That that is Mar a she's a tough competitor. Wow. Combine that with, a, with her head to the outside on the floor. Oh, my gosh, I that thud. Wow. If she knows where she's at, I don't, I don't know how she's doing this. Autopilot sometimes. <laughs> Once again, went for the be beautiful destruction. Uh-oh, Markova in trouble if she can't move up. Oh, and Taya oh. hits it. Oh my gosh. Flying hip attack directly hit to the again. face. Going for it again. Oh, oh my gosh. Meteora, Meteora in, the, in the corner. Oh, she's going for it. She wants to end this match here. The road to Valhalla. Oh, she hits it. Taryn's she hit the road the to referee. Valhalla. She hit the road to Valhalla. Referee didn't see it. Taryn with the distraction. That's a count to 10. Uh-oh, I see where this uh, is going. Ah. Taya's got to be sick of this. Taryn's got to be careful here. Markova needs to take advantage right now if she can. I don't know if she, she may can. Be she's out. taking I, I, so much yeah, damage she may be in the match. But she's, I don't, she's tough. She there hits it, is. it. There it is. She hits it. Will it be enough? With the cover now on Taya. Wow. What a matchup. The winner of this match, Natalia. Markova's bleeding. That was a tough, competitive, intense, I could go on and on matchup between both competitors. Natalia Markova reigning victorious over Taya Valkyrie, but a very impressive debut on behalf of Taya Valkyrie. Welcome to the NWA, yeah, Taya. Wow.